away from them. They've been absolutely sensational. Almost a, a nothing to lose mentality. More now in this final than ever, I'm sure, up against. Can't afford too many mistakes against Victor Axelson. Oh, it's far from over. Let's pop off uh, Lux to somehow give himself a lifeline here. And something to work with. That Not just in European badminton, but in world badminton. In the form of, really has been a, a great week of badminton. And uh, another fantastic event by Badminton Europe. Just pushing that one a little wide. Oh, lovely. Disguised it beautifully. Closes the gap to one. Axelson leads 5 4 here. And back to a two point cushion. Go wide, but well within the line there. This is better from pop off. Reach there, fantastic reach there. over Finland's Joachim Oldorf and Germany's Fabian Roth. Oh! Pop off off to a scoring start. Returning to the courts from the interval. On the attack here. Oh! The Frenchman. To close the gap back down to two. Oh! Flixer from the Dane, almost catching Popoff off guard. Oh. Certainly giving him a game. away from them they've been absolutely sensational almost a, a nothing to lose mentality more now in this final than ever I'm sure up against certainly are but still relatively young relatively inexperienced especially in these sort of situations where they can just go out there and have fun and they've been having fun in action yesterday will be in action here today in the to say the least Denmark of course absolutely dominating European badminton for quite a while now This might be the first meeting between these two on the European stage. You have a feeling it's not going to be the last. And Christo Popov, definitely one of the up and coming the names in men's singles badminton. First and banging himself a gold medal at the 2020 European Junior Championships. Change this. Believe you me, it is not. Regardless. Oh, that's 
a well. This one far from over. Let's pop off for Alex to somehow give himself a lifeline here. And something to work with. That's more. To get the action back underway by any means. Helping it go wide there. Great defensive play here from Popov. He can. Seen Axelson stroll through. Uh, completely misjudged it in the end, though. Just starting to let a few unforced errors creep into his game. Something he needs to get control of quickly. Axelson, the uh, type of player who can almost uh, smell that. And then pounce on it, ready to take full advantage. Can't afford too many mistakes against Victor Axelson. Oh, superb. Oh, Axelson. Well, he was a little... Change here. Popov does seem to. Oh, how best to put it? Not necessarily look tired, but putting a little bit more energy. For trying to find every sort of advantage he can. He was just in time. He just didn't look comfortable there, did he? From it, some would say perhaps. Problem for Popov is, is that Axelson doesn't always have to. Frenchman was always going to struggle to get that one back. Well, next to no time to react there. Just had to try it again back over. And Axelson was there waiting. Axelson 14 10 up now. Those have just dropped a little. There's been a grueling encounter for him. Well 
aware that he was going to have to be at his absolute best to try and well, not, perhaps not a mountain to climb but a hill certainly 17 10 down I'm sure that will have been the topic of discussion in axelson's corner during the second interval he can just nullify his own errors it should be pretty straightforward it certainly looked that way here Getting away a single game well and truly say he's played his part for Team Denmark. Not for the first time. Oh. Chen in the semi-finals to then face Hintonson. Match that went the distance. Hintonson coming out on top there. In 2020, I'm sure he would have been smiling. But... There we go, Victor Axelsson, it's Denmark.